Smash Actually, no, that's not true. I've watched Smashing Grounds where Joe was playing, and I remember being rather impressed. Yeah, Joe, Joe's a great Charizard main. Uh, we can look forward to plenty of Nairs. Uh, he also is one of the few Charizards I see that spikes off stage, and it's really hype. Uh, oh, but his favorite by far is down B to up B kills. So that's his thing. Down B to up B. Yeah, so down B launches it up into the air way faster than a jump will. Right. And then up B is a great upwards killer. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, especially against Game & Watch, he's going to be looking for that early, early. Like, I'm talking, if he gets to grab at 70, he's probably going to try to look for that. How many Game & Watch players do you have at SG? Bees is the only one that plays him exclu well, I shouldn't say exclusively, but it's the only one that's 100% his main. Right. Risky, he's just kind of in his arsenal. Uh, that's pretty much it for G-Dubs. Oh, they're getting right into this. Yeah, huh? they are. Okay. I've never seen this Game & Watch skin, and I really like it. Yeah. It works well for Bees, too. Yeah, that's, that's right. But... Let's see, once again, uh... Ooh, Nair. That, oh, oh wow, my goodness! That killed super early. Yeah, that had to be the sweet spot of that Nair. That was crazy. Also, some uh, I don't want to say terrible. That's a little mean. But, you know, a poor DI. Yeah. But, we're going to see... Oh, I wow. don't know how that downer got away with. I, it, it must have been a shield poke, but I didn't think it was going to work either. All right, so, uh, Joe... got the balloon. That's a big play. <laughs> Joe is uh, falling down to the edge and he did an L cancel Nair, uh, where his tail was off the edge. You can look forward to that for a really and easy edge guard. Where you're going to be looking at the. Uh... And once again, it's just a. Uh... Ooh, that's, that's good. good. That's forward air, I assume, right? That is. Yeah, that's a fast forward air. Looks uh, reminiscent of Mewtwo's forward air. Yes, very much so. I like the fact that Bees is chasing down Charizard. Uh... I can't tell though, it looks like. I don't know if it's that the Charizard is not, uh, doesn't have enough room to work or if he's just kind of flubbing because I've seen some weird, really. Oh! Weird bacon was, was in the air, down tilt up into the bacon. I think if Bees knew that was, or had any idea that was going to happen, he would have followed up even more. Good recovery there, going to the platform, wasn't meant by anything. Alright. We are even in stocks, but Bees has had a good handle of this so far. Let's see what Joe can do with this grab. That'll Fair, yes. All right, this is a classic. Uh, Nair is going to work. So Bees, I think, is winning neutral and getting more hits and combos, but Charizard is the type of character that a, a grab or in, into just four or five hits is going to be a kill. Yeah. So Joe doesn't need to win neutral nearly as much. And that's why things are even. That down so there could have led to so much more. I love those uh, repeated back airs. That was a good wave dash back. Good arms attack from Bees there. The problem with these uh, the down airs that Bees keeps using is they're hitting way too far in front. Uh, if Joe catches on to that, we're going to see a lot of big punishes. Yeah, because if like you... Like the deck is a tank. Oh, there's, we're going to get one going. But yeah, if you land if you land to the key and don't hit it, you're getting punished really hard. That's a real, that's uh, nearly link down air yeah. uh, amount of hit lag. Or, and like, yes, thank you. No problem. Wow, oh, there we go. Very smart side beat from Joe. All right, so the theme remains the same. Bees winning neutral, Joe winning punish game. Though I will say, I don't think that Bees won the neutral nearly as hard on that round. No, uh, definitely started off stronger. Oh. You know, Bees has missed that tech a couple of times. If Joe catches on to that, like this right there, if he catches on to that, he can start doing a lot more damage. That double forward air might do it. Now good DI. Again, good DI. Let's see what he does here. Whoa! That was wild. Going I thought that Nair was going to work. There. Chair yeah, is going it. to. Also, B's winning 2-1 to one on the balloon count. That's huge. <laughs> That's a nice little string that he had right there. Yeah, bro. He really needs to pick up the fact that he's missing those texts. Oh, nice. double hit off the key. And you know, right after we were talking about the fact that that down air hadn't been working out, led to about 45%. Yeah. There you go. Now he's reading it. Good crouch cancel there. Oh, Might have man. That parachute was a great idea. Oh, I'm kind of surprised it didn't work, to be honest. Really scary oh, situation my goodness. for both players. Yeah, Bees was going in. Bees is definitely the aggressor there and uh, doing more risky game. stuff. All right, Bees. That was a, that was a free get up right there. Yeah. Uh, Joe gave him the, the low committal nair, but nothing came from it. As I think has been another big story is that Joe hasn't really committed to stopping him from the ledge. No. Nope. You see, he's right there again being a big. You can't let him on for free. That's it. Bees takes it. Close first match. A lot of things that Joe could do to stop. He, he picked up there on the missed text uh, near the end of the match. But he needs to commit more to not letting him on the stage for free. I noticed something during that match. 
Uh, not really the matchup, but with the game that I'd like the stream to take a look at. When Joe gets a down throw and breathes the fire on Game & Watch, Game & Watch's legs move in a fluid way, like you would expect from a normal character. I think it's yeah. the only time that it does that. Every other time, he's, you know, Game & Watch style movement. So take a look at that next time Joe gets a down throw. Yeah, that's a good oh, there it is! Right right what I, Justin, right I asked for it. Misses the tech, but doesn't punish off of it. Even just a jab to lead into another... Yeah, uh, he's, he's backing away, assuming he's going to attack. There it is again. He needs to read that. This is a brief aside from not, uh, not talking about the match, but for those of you watching the chat, you need to pick up on tech times. Good down tilt, I like that. It's safe. Put the music on this stage. It doesn't fit with the actual stage. <laughs> He's kept him above him here. That's gonna kill him. Yeah. Oh. Wow, All right, great good, DI. Yeah, good DI from Joe there. Oh, but that key's going to work. No, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, That's that not key. enough because of how low he was. Pretty sure he just doesn't die. Oh, my God, 153. Good Stay sweet recovery. spot. Oh, and Joe. I like it. That was sweet. Joe could have taken the first stock. He oh. went for that spike that you were talking about. Yeah, he did. The game. Paid for it, though. Almost a bit of an overcommit. All right. He, Joe knows all he's going to do is get that one fair. Oh. Or the neutral area. Yeah, do it. good nair. Brings him right off the top of the screen. 3-3, three, three, playing a brawl match. Dead even here on Distant Planet. Oh, uh, post-mortem bacon breaks that up. Really cool. Oh, great forward tilt. All right, use it. It's the problem is bad for Joe is that once he gets Game Watch well, he's gonna miss the tech and he's still. All right, well, at least he got something off of it. Unless am I missing something? Is, is he not able to punish off the miss tech? I think he can. I think he's missing it. I'm with you. Okay. I mean, he's the, he's the resident Charizard expert, so maybe there's a little bit, I don't know. A great forward tilt again. He's used that to interrupt a couple of these strings. Oh! Great forward smack free from Joe. That's going to put him in I the think lead. that went right through a piece of bacon. Really late there. Here we go. We got a back throw. Oh, oh that's going to go for a re grab almost there for a second. Looks yeah. Like. But that front, that that upbeat comes out so quickly. Uh, Usually saved it. his life because that nair started coming out for game launch. Wow, I'm surprised how quickly bees can get up there, but not enough with Charizard at this disgustingly high percent. Yeah, 169 at this point. Gets a chair. Joe doesn't have jumps, but he doesn't have an upbeat. Not enough. Oh, that's gonna do it. That again is gonna be the story of the match. If he can hold on to these higher percents and just wait for one of those stray big Charizard hits, yep. gonna go for a back throw here. Yep. Oh, wow, fair kills. Good stuff from Joe there. Early percent kill, and this is, might be the biggest lead we've seen in the set. Yep. Again, these forward tilts have been great on putting the Yeah, really off smart. Of him. Joe knows that that's one of Charizard's fastest options, and he's using it, he's using it expertly. Down throw to down smash off Oh, of nice. Stick. Joe uses invincibility to go through that key. Oh. <laughs> He's starting to look a lot better over here. Yeah. Oh, I like that throw. Oh. Again, though, he's just not hes not putting enough pressure, I believe, off the stage. Another forward tilt. I like it. A little bit of a reach, but I like the fact that he's trying to put out that he will throw down here. Make the statement, if you will. Gets another grab. That was an unsafe forward. There. Oh. There it is. No. Oh, that would have been pretty cool. Gonna recover from this. Oh, I thought for sure. Jo there it is. There it is. Oh, Joe gets a cool. down hit to yeah. finish things off. And I think Joe seemed a lot more comfortable as that match went on. Yeah. Game three is gonna be interesting. Yeah. All right, so it seemed Joe just excelled on that big stage. So let's see what Beast picks. Is he going to try to go small? I think, mm, I'm not sure. There's the possibility that if you go small, you die at like 70%. Right, especially with G-dubs. I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe a Battlefield pick. Where did we play game one? Game one was on Smashville. Okay. As is every other match. <laughs> Founder Dreams, actually, I really like this pick. High ceiling. Uh, we'll give him more time, and it gives the uh, smaller stage to work with also. Good down tilt there, but Crouch cancels by Game Watch. I almost feel like Charizard is just going to have trouble getting through those three platforms. Yeah. Just being such a big character. 
there he read the fact that he missed the tech, but still did it a little too late, and so he was able to get the get-up attack. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, actually. technical flop. All One right. of those that you can't let shake you. Yeah, especially with Charizard, uh, that's not taking him out of it by any means, but Joe's going to have to play a great game, especially neutral. Wow! wow. Bees with a big string. That yeah, was. That up smash to finish it off was great. Fair. Oh, and nice. All right. Like you said, high ceiling really helping Bees out there. Yeah, it was a great pick. Oh! oh going out there, but he gets the unfortunate hit behind him. I think I just see a down tilt. No. This is one of the hardest positions as a player. That's a great start. Yeah. But when you go down two stocks on game three, it's 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 put up or shut up time. Yeah. And uh, that SD is, is painful, but I don't know. These strings this game have looked really solid. We're gonna get a down throw. He's gonna read the no tech. Nope, missed it again. Here we it go. looked like he was reading a tech away, but that is not what Beast shows. Yeah, Beast. I don't. Beast has hit maybe one tech the whole time that we've watched. So. That's a dangerous situation for Bees. He's lucky to be back. Four air is not going to do it, but I think we're going to see another new Oh, that stage. was a great piece of bacon. Oh, surprised he didn't go for a down air there. Forward air, I mean, forward smash almost connected. This is a tough situation. Dodges the back is very nice. Like <laughs> First he wants to see, try, try again. I'm curious as to why he was doing uh, low lane forward tilt instead of down tilt there. So I guess both did do the same thing, get Game Watch off stage, but he's able to get back on it. Oh. Yeah, now he's starting it up. Wow, big both 60. Times, both times he's been hit, he's actually done about 59%. And that's a wild nope. Very good awareness from Bs. Is that side B? Yep. All right. On stage side B. On stage side B, gotcha. Chair, yes. Dominant game three from Bees. Yeah, Bees looks like he just kind of woke up on that game. That SD was planned. <laughs> uh, I don't know about it now. Give match.